new at 11. This video shows Florida Fish and Wildlife officers looking at the boat that two South Florida teens disappeared from while at sea. Investigators hope to find clues that can tell them what exactly happened to those boys. CBS 4's Carrie Codd joins us live from outside FWC's offices at Port Everglades. Carrie? That's right, Ruta Bay. Tonight, that boat is inside this warehouse here at Florida Fish and Wildlife offices at Port Everglades. And the next step, really, to hear from investigators whether that boat taught them anything about what happened to those, these two teens. After 10 months at sea, the boat that carried Austin Stefanos and Perry Cohen on their ill fated fishing trip last summer is back in South Florida. The boys remain missing. The boat came off this massive cargo ship at Port Everglades Monday evening, and a short time later, investigators with Florida Fish and Wildlife were removing the boat from its container and loading the boat onto a trailer. It's believed to be inside a warehouse at the FWC offices. FWC officials say they will examine the boat, then turn it over to its owner. Attorney Guy Rubin represents Pamela Cohen, Perry Cohen's mother. He said a simple exam of the boat isn't enough. We are a little bit perplexed as to why FWC has taken the position that the investigation is over. Take it seriously. Do the examination that every parent would want if their son could be out there still, even if it's a remote possibility. In this letter, Rubin asks FDLE to either take over the case or assist FWC. Rubin says the boat should be treated as if it were a possible crime scene. The crew of a Norwegian fishing vessel found the boat back in March. It was capsized 100 miles off the coast of the Bahamas. Austin's iPhone was found on the boat. Ruben said they're hoping to send the iPhone to a third party who will search the phone for any texts, emails, or pictures that might help uncover what became a Perry in Austin. Ruben said Pamela Cohen won't stop until she gets answers. She's determined, and she knows that she's his only voice, and so she's... She's going to do what's necessary to see this through to the end. At this point, we do not have a timetable from FWC on when they will complete their examination. Also today, I spoke with the Florida Department of Law Enforcement and asked them if they were going to take over this investigation or at least assist FWC. They told me they are reviewing all of that. We'll keep you posted on what happens. Live at Port Everglades, Carrie Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight.